Hello everyone and welcome to my WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view review and we're just going to dive right into things, shall we? We're just going to talk about things immediately right away. First we have Liv Morgan defeating Carmella in a solid match on the pre-show. Um, I'm hoping this spells the end of Carmella's reign on SmackDown because I really want her on Monday Night Raw. She just needs that change pretty badly. And it was a big win for Carmella as well. Uh, Liv Morgan, sorry. It's a big win for Liv Morgan as well, pinning a former SmackDown Women's Champion. I hope this now means they start building Liv Morgan up. And in the first match on the main show, this was not on the card at all. They added the New Day, defeating Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, and Omos. Big E pinning Bobby Lashley, which was a bit of a surprise. I thought AJ Styles would have been there to eat the pin. But, um... But yeah, the New Day would score the win, and Bobby Lashley was angry, and he would demand a rematch for the WWE Championship tomorrow on Monday Night Raw. And people say Shane McMahon's no, compi no uh, rematch clause are still intact in WWE. I highly doubt that, considering that rematches are being passed around like, like Christmas gifts. So, yeah. If there's anyone from that match I would like to see smoothed over to SmackDown, it'd be AJ Styles and Omos, or just AJ Styles without Omos. Then we had the Usos defend the SmackDown tag team titles against the Street Profits. This was a very good tag team match. And the Usos would retain here, pretty much confirming that they are remaining on SmackDown. And I know some of you may be thinking, oh, but you know, they could always defend the titles on the draft episode. They could, but I don't see that being being a reality. So then we get then we get to Charlotte Flair versus Alexa Bliss. Congratulations, Vincent Man, you did not lose a viewer. You made the right decision there. Charlotte Flair would win the match with a Queen's boot. I always called it the Royal Boot. But the Queen's boot and then a natural selection to seal the deal for Alexa Bliss. Everyone continued. Everyone was crowing about how. Everyone was crowing about how she's undefeated for a whole year. Oh, she hasn't been pinned for over a year. And now, and now that she loses one match, now all of a sudden she's buried. I mean, are you people serious? Are you people serious? You people have got to be joking me, right? Pinned all year. P wasn't pinned all year. Remember, you all were crowing about how she wasn't pinned all year. Maybe she should have stayed the hell away from Charlotte Flair if she didn't. If you, if she didn't want to get pinned. But anyway, Charlotte would proceed to rip up Lily, completely destroy her, rip her head off, and completely kill Lily. Good job, Charlotte. Good job. Good job, Charlotte. I'm glad you did that. Hopefully now that means it's the end of this ridiculous character. I highly doubt it. If Alexa Bliss respects Bray Wyatt, she should drop the character. But, you know, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt she will. What I see them doing is that they'll probably most likely have her come out with another Lily doll and act like nothing ever happened. And, and, and here's the next thing that I think people have got to see here. Like, the thing that I want to see happen next is that... It, well, this is what I want. It won't happen. But what I hope it ha What I hope happens is that this leads to, Charlotte, to, to Alexa Bliss realizing what Charlotte Flair said was nothing but correct. The doll was way more important than winning the championship. And Charlotte said in her backstage interview, she said she brought out the real... Lexi. She she fought the real Lexi. She wants the real Lexi. She said she didn't wrestle a person that only cared about a doll. She wrestled the real Lexi. That's what she wants. We all want the real Alexa Bliss back. We all want the goddess to return. I'm hoping this leads to the goddess coming back. I highly doubt it. But I do see this feud continuing. I do see this feud continuing on. And I see, and I see Alexa Bliss 
and Charlotte Flair wrestling each other in the near future again for the Raw Women's Championship. And this would be the time where I wouldn't be mad if Alexa Bliss won the title. This would be when I wouldn't be mad if she won the title because, to be honest, I would rather Alexa Bliss be champion as the goddess and not as this ridiculous character. But secondly, Alexa Bliss also told Charlotte that she doesn't need to be a champion to be relevant, so maybe she should keep her word. But I do see this feud continuing. Damien Priest would defeat Jeff Hardy and Sheamus in a triple threat match to retain the United States Championship. All I've got to say is, good, I didn't want Jeff Hardy to win. Because for some people, because for some reason, people think Jeff Hardy should have won. How does a 40-year-old veteran, who is clearly out of his prime, more deserving the United States Championship than a young Damien Priest? I have no idea. Now we had Becky Lynch battle Bianca Belair in a... This went to a no contest due to return of The Boss, The Standard, The Blueprint, and your next SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is back. She beats the hell out of Bianca Belair, and Becky Lynch gives a hilarious thumbs up to uh, Sasha Banks, which that looked pretty funny, to make Becky think that they're on the same page. But nope, that is not the case. Sasha would lay out Becky Lynch as well, and I'm very, very glad, and I'm very glad about that too, I'm very glad Sasha's back, hopefully this leads to Sasha Banks winning the SmackDown Women's Championship the next time they face off, and I see all three of these ladies staying on SmackDown, it just makes the most sense to me, just now means Bailey will be going over to Raw. And finally, we're going to be talking about the final match, the main event, Roman Reigns battling the Demon Finn Balor. A very, very crazy main event. A very crazy main event. It was really cool to see the Demon back. And Roman Reigns would win by hook or by crook, as, they, as, as JR would say. It was a really intense match. Really enjoyed it. The Usos interfered. Finn Balor would, 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 real, would, would end up becoming reawoken from his theme music. And as he goes up for the coup de gras, the ropes break. The ropes break and he falls. Don't know what happened. Don't know who caused it. But I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be Finn Balor's next feud. He's going to find out who was responsible in causing this accident. Roman Reigns would score the win with a spear. Also, I did like how Roman Reigns, how Finn Balor paid back. I did like how Finn Balor paid Roman Reigns back by, by low blowing him as he kicked out, which I thought that was really cool. Seeing the Finn, seeing the demon kick out of the spear was also very well done. And yeah, and the demon loses. The demon loses his uh first match on the main roster. We all knew he we all knew his streak was going to end. This is a B level pay per view. Massive record. Re massive record-breaking streaks don't end on B-level pay-per-views. Yes, I know. I know what some of you are going to say. Sasha Banks Big Bang Bailey last year inside her on the cell. That's considered a B-level pay-per-view. That's Bailey. This is Roman Reigns. Bailey ain't no Roman Reigns. Bailey ain't no Roman Reigns. I love Bailey, but she ain't no Roman Reigns. I'm sorry. She ain't no Roman Reigns. This is Roman Reigns we're talking about. So Roman Reigns will face Brock Lesnar for the title in Saudi Arabia. Yay! Can't wait. Not. So anyway, that is your Extreme Rules review, guys. This is going to be a lot shorter than normal because my phone, for some reason, keeps losing data. So... Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. Hit that thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below on Extreme Rules. Did you guys enjoy it? I thought it was an alright pay-per-view. I think I think it did well for a show that was barely hyped up. You know what I mean? But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for, for the Monday Night Raw review.